Hey Ryan, this is Chris with Arrowhead Cadillac in Glendale. I uh, just wanted to make a couple videos for you as far as instructional for your new CTSV. So I'm going to go over pretty much all the basics and then if you're looking for something um, on something in particular, good thing to do is uh, hit up YouTube uh, so you don't have to watch the whole video over and over again. So um, first off, let's go ahead with starting the car. So we got your key fob right here. Obviously this is lock, unlock, up into your trunk, your alarm, and this is your remote start. So within 100 feet uh, or 100 yards of the vehicle, you can press and hold this. You wanna make sure the car is locked and press and hold this and the car's gonna start on, okay? So, great thing about Cadillac vehicles is you cannot drive off in the vehicle unless the key fob is actually in the car. So when we do a remote start, we're gonna get in and you're gonna see everything's still blacked out. Your climate control will be on, uh, your cold seats, your heated steering wheel, things of that nature will be on um, to cool down the car, but you can't start the car or drive off unless you physically get in with the key fob and press the brake and your start button. So once we do that, it's gonna turn on the car. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, set up your seats. So over here, you have your uh, memory functions for your seats. Um, obviously to, um, so you have one and two presets and this is your easy exit option, okay? Which I'll have that set up for you. So um, what's gonna happen is uh, whenever you turn off the car, it, the seat's gonna go back, the steering wheel will go up as far as your easy exit option. You can turn that off through your settings, which we'll get into that into a second. Um, and then I also have auto memory recall. So whoever hit whichever button last, whether it was you or the wifey, um, it's gonna go back into whatever, whoever hit the last spot. So if I was programming this for myself, we're gonna hit and set and it's gonna beep and then we're gonna immediately press and hold one. Okay, so now the one is set. Um, we're also gonna set up the easy exit. This is your controls for your steering wheel. And so we'll set up the easy exit. Oops. Okay, so that's all set up now, okay? Um, obviously controls your windows, your power mirrors. Down under here you have a trunk release also. Okay. So now, let's go back into this. Okay, so lots of things to go over, okay? Obviously, you got lots of cameras on this vehicle. So one of the greatest things that was ever invented, in my opinion, is your rear view mirror camera, okay? So your rear view mirror is actually a camera also. So what this does is, it actually shows 300% of more what's behind you than with your regular mirror. Uh, it takes a little getting used to as far as a view, but once you get used to it, once you're on the highway, you're not, you won't use your side mirrors anymore. Uh, you'll just be looking at this. So you just flip this down and it turns into a regular mirror at any time. And it's really nice because if you have the car loaded up with friends, family, or items from the store, you're looking straight through the vehicle. Another great part about this too is in Florida, obviously, with all the humidity, uh, our windows fog up a lot uh, where you need to turn on the defroster. Now your defrosters are gonna come on automatically, but you don't have to wait for the car to warm up to basically move, because you're gonna see right through the vehicle, so you'll see everything that's what's behind you. All right, so that's that camera. Next is you have, put this in drive. So you have your backup and front cameras, okay? And just like on the Corvettes, anytime you have, um, the low ground effects and carbon fiber, all those things. Um, your front cameras are going to show you, obviously what's in front of you, and then it's also gonna show what's directly behind or straight down from you. 
This is to protect the front end of the vehicle so that you don't hit any curbs because replacing this carbon fiber stuff is very, very expensive because it's not fake carbon fiber, it's real carbon fiber. Um, so once you're in the screen, you can toggle between your front and rear cameras just by doing that right there. Also, I have it set up in your home screen, you have a camera icon, which I put right up front so it's very easy because you do not want to mess up any of these ground effects. So that's a great feature. Now, what I'm doing as far as the Q system is you have this home screen right here. So anytime I hit this button, it goes right back to my home screen for us, okay? Get into that in just a little second also. So, great thing about Cadillacs is that they are very, very quiet cars. Um, but this is obviously a sports car. So you have your different transmission modes right here. So when I start messing with this, as you can see on here, it's gonna go from tour, sport, track, snow and ice, okay? So each one that I go into, it's gonna affect the exhaust sounds also. Um, so when I go into track, it's obviously gonna give us your uh, loudest um, exhaust sound. So, it's gonna be nice and loud. So, great thing about Cadillacs is obviously the cabin is very, very quiet. You have acoustic laminated glass, everything is soft to the touch to keep the noise down, basically from the elbows up inside the cockpit. So what Cadillac does is when you're in track or sport mode, it actually injects your engine sound into the vehicle so that you can feel it a lot better. Now outside you're going to hear it quite a bit because it is pretty loud and it will shake the glass. All right so and this is a track ready race car basically um, but it is also a very safe car and it has a lot of safety features so I'm going to show you how to turn off those safety features if you want to. Okay so all of your safety features, we can go right into our settings right here, and then we can turn anything on or off that we like, okay? But you have a couple safety features that are right at your fingertips, okay? Right over here, this is your lane assist, which you can see the light's on. Uh, the light will always be on unless you hit it, and then it turns off, okay? So what lane assist does is if you start veering out of your lane, it gently nudges you back into your lane, okay? It's a very gentle nudge. It doesn't want you to freak out and overcompensate and flip your car or anything of that nature. And if you're going in a direction, it's gonna let you go in whatever direction you wanna go into. But if you are on the highway, you switch lanes quite a bit and you don't use your turn signal, turn that off, okay? That will make your car more responsive for you, okay? Then over here, you have your park assist sensors. These are all the sensors going completely around the vehicle uh, to alert you if you're getting too close to something. If a pedestrian walks in front of you, it'll actually break the car for you. Um, and if you get too close, it will actually do some uh, braking for you also. Only reason why you really want to turn that guy off is if it's a tight fit getting into your personal home garage, but you know how to get that sucker right in there and you're tired of your seat buzzing and everything beeping at you, you can turn that off. Or if you're going through a drive through car wash, which I would definitely not recommend on this vehicle, turn that sensor off so that everything's not beeping and buzzing when you're going through the car wash, which again, I would suggest not doing with all this carbon fiber ground effects that are on your vehicle. Next over here, obviously, is up in your glove box. This is your park assist. So what this actually does, it actually allows you to park your vehicle, which I will do that on a separate uh, video for you also, okay? Um, next, we're gonna go into our settings, okay? So this will control everything with the vehicle as far as turning everything on or off, okay? Now, what I like to do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna make sure everything is on for you. So all we need to do is just go into your vehicle section and then you can basically do everything as far as on the car. So like in your, sorry, 
collision detection system. So when you start getting too close to something, your seat's gonna vibrate, everything's gonna start beeping at you. But if you don't want that to do that anymore, you can turn that, obviously, that feature off. Same thing with your vehicle braking alert, lane change alert, rear cross traffic alert, which majority of these you wanna keep them on, but you can turn these off at any time, right through your settings. Next thing was comfort and convenience. So we have the auto memory recall on, we have the easy exit option on, reverse tilt mirror. You can turn those off, turn that on. Basically when you put the car in reverse, your window mirrors are gonna tilt down for you. It's more of a parallel parking thing, but you don't have to do that a lot in Florida. And then, so you can go through everything on the vehicle. If you do have teen drivers, which obviously I would not suggest let on a teen driver to drive this particular vehicle, you can enable this and what it does is you set up parameters for the vehicle so they're not speeding and uh, taking the vehicle where you don't want it to go. And then valet mode is where you set up the a pin number. It locks everything from your glove box um, and then you turn put back in the pin when you get back in the car and everything goes back to normal. Okay, so that's the settings. Next, we're gonna go in. Okay, so your climate control, you have front and rear climate. You can control your climate from these guys down here also. Now, the buttons are not actually the silver parts. The buttons are right above the silver parts. And anything you touch, as you can see, it's gonna show up here on your cue system, but you'll also feel a haptic touch where it'll kind of bounce back at you so that you know that you're touching a button. But it's not the actual silver spots, it's right above. Same thing with the volume. The volume is not the silver spot. Basically, it's just a slide. So when you just slide your finger on, that's how you increase your volume, okay? Obviously, this will mute it. And no matter what screen we're in, this is our home screen. It'll take us to our home screen, okay? You can also control your climate through your application right here, which will show everything right through your cue system. And you also have a rear climate um, application also because you have tri-zone climate control. You don't, I don't even mess with the rear climate control because in this one all you do is go to rear and now you're controlling the rear climate also. So a lot easier to do it that way. Okay, so now we're going to go over to your steering wheel options. Okay, so over here, this is obviously your cruise. Um, turn it on by hitting this button. You push this down to set it or pull this up to resume. Uh, this has adaptive cruise control, okay? So what that does is this little guy right here, this is your collision alert or your gap adjust, okay? So as you can see when I'm touching this, this is changing your collision. What you're doing is you're setting how far your sensors want to go out before it starts bugging you, okay? So I always put it on the middle and then you can change that later, okay? Um, heated steering wheel is right here, and obviously this is your voice recognition. Over here, these buttons, now you have your volume up or down, that's what these two buttons will do. These two buttons will go through your preset radio stations or your tracks if you're listening to music through like your iPhone or your um, Android Auto. Um, and then this guy right here controls your dash, okay? So on your dash, you basically have three different boxes of information. So you have one here, one in the middle, and then one on the side, okay? So what I do is if I wanna change or look at different information on that uh, left-hand um, option right there, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna hit the select to the left. Now when I do that, you're gonna see now this box is highlighted. So now I'm gonna scroll up or down, and it's gonna give me all the information on the car. Which goes through a lot, even a G-force meter, okay? You also have tire temperatures, because this is obviously a race car. It's just lots of different information in here, okay? So you can put anything that you want up here, okay? Now, same thing with the middle. I'm gonna scroll through. So I like to put the speed limit up there because now under right above your uh, speedometer, you're gonna have whatever speed limit you're at, it's gonna let you know um, so that you can try to avoid speeding. 
Um, you can also put this up on your heads up display, which you can't really see it. You can see a little bit right there. Um, that's your heads up display in the windshield. You control your heads up display with this button right here. Sorry, I'm trying to get in to see him. So this guy right here moves your heads up display up or down. This one, sorry, changes the information that's on there and this obviously affects the brightness. So we're gonna go back up there so we can see it. So I like to put the speed limit up there also. So you have your speedometer and always tell you what the speed limit is wherever you're at also. And then you can change whatever information that you want up there. Same thing with down here. So let's zoom back out. So I'm gonna go over to the right hand box. I'm gonna scroll through. And anytime you get a phone call, it's gonna show up right there. Anytime you change your music, it's gonna show up there. But I'm going to the box where it says options. Now I'm gonna hit the middle where it says select. I'm gonna hit that. Now I can change, obviously if I find myself in Canada, I wanna change everything to metrics. That's what units is. Info pages. This is when I select this. This is all the information that I can either scroll or not scroll through when I'm scrolling through these different boxes. So I'm gonna turn everything on for you and then you can decide what you want to have on there and what you don't. So if I don't want two trip odometers, I would just hit select. Now that box is no longer highlighted, so it only show one trip odometer. So that's how you can reconfigure what you want to be on there. So I've got everything on for you. Now I'm gonna go back to options and I'm gonna go to display layout. This is where I can change my dash. So once I hit display layout, it's gonna give me three options, a balanced look, an enhanced look, or a V look, okay? I personally like the V look. So it's in balance right now. If we go into enhance, it's gonna change your screen. And then of course the V, that's why you buy it. It looks like that. So, I'm going to leave it on the V. Now when you're in the V, you don't have a middle option as far as changing that middle option as far as any information there. That's the only bad part, but love that look. Okay, so obviously with your shifter, you can hit M, which goes into manual. You have your magnesium powder sh paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel right there. Good way to kind of remember it is your gas is on the right, your brake is on the left. Um, so you upshift on the right, you downshift on the left. Had a good way to remember that. Okay, over here. Um, now, anytime it's hot or cold, it's gonna sense whatever the temperature is and it's gonna turn on your hot or cold seats depending on the temperature. Under here, you'll see there's a metal piece right there. Once I touch that, that's gonna open up this. Now, this is a wireless charger for your cell phone, okay? Only Android wireless capable charging phones work on this, unfortunately, um, because the chargers is not lined up properly for an iPhone X right now. Um, but you can place your cell phone in there if it's Android and it will charge for you. And then you just hit that silver spot, that goes back down. Um, you also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, okay? So what that is, is you have these USB portals right here, which you can barely see. When you tether in your phone, it's gonna charge your phone through that tether, but you can also hit an Apple CarPlay, and what that does, it brings your apps that's on your phone up here on the screen, okay? Um, so that you can use your navigation, get through your text messages, things like that a lot quicker. So, now, as far as setting up the vehicle, Obviously, I want you to set up your seats, your steering wheel, things like that, and set up 
your uh, memory package. Next thing what I want you to do is go into your phone. You're going to connect your phone, turn on your Bluetooth in your phone, and it'll, it'll walk you through that as far as Bluetooth and in your phone. Now, when you Bluetooth in your phone, you can play your music, everything right through the phone is completely hands-free. Um, also, you have a PDR recorder, okay? This is really a neat setting also. Um, and you have a SIM card. So at least an eight gigabyte SIM card goes in there, okay? And that's what records your, uh, your PDR recorder. So what your PDR recorder actually looks like you're on the track, it's very, very neat, okay? So, a couple things I want you to do for me, okay? Which I'm gonna have this all set up for you. I want you to go into your app store on your phone and download the My Cadillac application. What that does, it will allow you to unlock or lock or start your car from any place in the world that you want to. You can be in a different country and start and stop your car or unlock it. Um, it also give you diagnostics, things of that nature also. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a complimentary OnStar for you. So when you get into the car, everything will be on the passenger seat as far as the information. You're just gonna hit this blue OnStar button. And then they're gonna set up your um, OnStar pin number. They're gonna ask you if you wanna set up um, uh, billing, all those things, which you don't have to accept. Um, they'll just extend your free trials out for you. Um, but another thing they're also gonna do is this vehicle is a Wi-Fi hotspot, so you'll get three gigabytes or three months of Wi-Fi complimentary. So you'll set up a Wi-Fi name, a password, all those things. Um, and you'll do that by just hitting that blue OnStar button. And But I'll have everything set up for you um, where it's all be pre-set up. You do have a, your old cigarette lighter charger right there. This is powers. So you just pull that back and it goes back like that. Um, what else do we need to go over? That beeping that you heard, I left a remote in the vehicle. So um, anytime you leave a remote in the vehicle, it's gonna beep at you like that. So you do have sunshades in the back window and then you have a power sunshade in the back also. Okay. Your battery is actually right there. Oh, this is what I want to show you. 